Testing out new voting machines, voters in Kansas counties will vote in this year's presidential election using outdated devices. New here at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Shannon Halligan looked into those issues with the machine. Going back to the basics, elections officials in Sedgwick County tested out two new types of voting machines. These machines will be recommended to other counties in the state, including Johnson and Wyandotte counties. Right now, Johnson County relies on all electronic voting machines, meaning there's no paper trail. Uh, with a machine count, you don't know whether that's, it's kind of up to the voter to have hit the right buttons. And if the voter didn't hit the right buttons and then hits cast ballot, it's too late to correct it. That's why Wyandotte County Commissioner of Elections Bruce Newby chose to stick with paper ballots. Uh, we don't have that problem because it's actually a mark that is made on a paper ballot. The questionable electronic machines have been an issue for Wichita State University statistician Beth Clarkson. In a previous interview, she said the numbers in the 2014 election didn't add up. They do fit what would be expected if election fraud is occurring, and that's very concerning. Clarkson is suing the state to audit the votes. They're basically saying, you don't need to look at these uh, paper records. We can just trust the machine. Last year, Wyandotte County conducted a recount after a candidate lost by one vote. That's why Newby believes the paper trail ensures accuracy. The hand count came out exactly the same as the machine count. Johnson County currently doesn't have any funding for new machines, so ballots for this year's presidential election will be cast on the old ones. Live in the studio, Shannon Halligan, 41 Action News.